Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to create hover images for your Cargo 3 website. I've already posted a similar video but for Cargo 2 and unfortunately that code is no longer working on new Cargo 3 websites so this is going to be an updated tutorial. We will be working with column layout uh, but I'll try to explain everything in detail so maybe you will be able to customize it a little and uh, use for like other layout cases, let's say for an outstanding uh, piece of text or maybe something else. Uh, but yeah, generally I just not able to explain every single case in this small tutorial, but I hope you still find it useful. And yeah, let's move to Cargo. All right, here is my structure. And if you don't know how to create columns, you just need to click this button and select column layout. And uh, then you need to go here and uh, start working with your HTML. So uh, the thing you need to do is to wrap your titles because I'm not going to apply this thing for the whole row. I'm just going to make my titles to be hoverable. Like uh, now I need to select a title and wrap it into a new div tag. So this is how we open a tag and this is how we close the tag like that. So this is a closing part. Be careful because if you see something red, that means that Cargo uh, is saying you that you made a mistake. So yeah, you need to follow these rules really carefully and precisely. Uh, also, you can remove this break thing because we don't really need it anymore. Uh, and to call these tags, like to call these titles in the future, we need to set a class. Let's call it um, hover item. All right, and now you need to do the same for each title. I'm just going to copy this part and paste it before each word and the closing part. Your structure can be slightly more uh, messy than mine because I've already cleaned it up. Uh, but don't worry, uh, all you need to do is just to wrap your texts into a tag and that's it. So let's press save and let's go back. Visually nothing has changed. And if we click the code icon again, uh, we see the same picture. So uh, our structure is ready. And the second part is to drag images. This part can be a little bit tricky just because we need to be extra careful working with the structure we've just created. So uh, this is my images and all I need to do is drag and drop it somewhere after each title. So this is going to be an image for the second title. This one is for third one. I'm just going to go with these four to save some time. And this is how it should look. But if you accidentally place your image somewhere in the wrong position, uh, don't try to drag and don't try to move it within this column just because, well, Cargo is listening to all your actions and it tries to resolve the layout for you. And therefore, uh, our custom tags can be removed or just somehow destroyed. So be careful. And when you, if you open your HTML uh, view, you will see something like that. So each image should be placed uh, after the title, but before the closing part of the div tag. This is how, uh, and only one way how it should work. If you see something different from that, well, I recommend you to remove this image and try again. And yeah. Uh, also, uh, if you want to remove the image from the code view, you can click on it and remove this media uh, tag. This is also how uh, another way how uh, you can work with your images. All right, let's put it back. And this part is ready. And now let's style it. Okay, now uh, we finally can style our elements. First, let's copy the class and let's select all elements with this class. And we need to set position to be relative. All right, that's it for this selector. Then you can copy the selector and paste it here. And the second selector is going to be hover item and um, some additional class media item. Or I think this should be without a dot. Uh, let's try it out. Uh, you need to say position absolute. Oh yeah, it works. So now you see that our images are organized a little bit differently, but we can move them using top property, let's say uh, zero, or we can actually specify even negative values. Don't forget, say pixels. So, okay, this is how I want them to be. 
Uh, also left is going to be, um, well, maybe 10%. Okay, this sounds good. Also, I want uh, these images to be behind my text. So I'm going to use that index minus one. And also, I don't really want them to be clickable. So I'm just going to add pointer events to be none. Okay. So I'm also not really satisfied with the size of these images. I can also control that with width property. Pixels. Okay, they got smaller. Maybe, maybe slightly larger. Also, if you want them to be dynamic, uh, let's say if you want them to depend on the screen size, instead of pixels, you can use another value, viewport width, like that. So now it's uh, literally like 10% of our viewport. So I just, I, I think that this value should work great. And that's it. So another thing is that probably it's good to make, uh, to change a cursor here. It's going to be cursor pointer, just to make a hint for the user that this this is clickable or ho hoverable title. Okay, so and the last part is to hide this image. Here I'm going to set opacity to zero. Okay. Oh, no, 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 not here. Sorry. Here. Now images are hidden. And copy this part once again paste it here, create one more pseudo class hover and change the opacity back to one. All right. And now when I hover these titles, I can see my images. If you want them to appear smooth, uh, you can add transition. Transition. Uh, let's say opacity. Uh, one. 0.4 seconds is in. I think that should look fine. This is how you can control uh, this hover effect, like the smoothness of this hover effect. <laughs> well, I think it's too slow for me. I'm just gonna go with two seconds and I'm just, uh, this part we can remove. Yeah, looks good. All right. Uh, probably the next step is to make these titles to be links because if you're going to create a preview for your projects, probably you want uh, these titles to be clickable. And we're going to do that in the next step. This part shouldn't be difficult, but you need to be careful once again. Because when you, uh, well, uh, anything you do here, Cargo is watching and tries to rewrite the structure for you, but we really want to keep it like it is now. So yeah, if you notice something different from what you see in my video, probably uh, you need to change it manually. So I'm selecting the first title, then I'm clicking this icon and yeah, I can select the page which I'm going to link. That's it. So you can style your links um, here somewhere like using Cargo tools. Okay, the second title is going to be another page. And yeah, let's uh, have a look on the code view. So now you see that each title is wrapped into an A tag. Uh, this is one possible option. And another option is to move this A tag outside of the title. Let me show you here, like outside of the div tag. So this is another option. Uh, this is where we're going to place our opening tag and the closing tag is going to be after the closing tag of our div. So we kind of wrap everything into a link. This is how uh, we can set our links. Okay. And well, I probably want to remove the decoration like text underline for each element. Let's do that here. I can actually do that globally, like, um, what can I do? Uh, text decoration, none. But I recommend you to use cargo tools, of course. Important. Yeah, this is how I can remove all uh, text underline for this particular page. Okay, let's save it and that's it. I think we're almost done. And probably the last thing I want to show you is how to place these images not within this um, like column and not close to your titles, but in the middle of the screen. 
All right, let's open our CSS tab again and uh, find uh, our media item selector. So, uh, well, first let's make our images to be visible and then change the position. Normally, if I change the position to be fixed, it's gonna uh, be easy to uh, like place the image in the middle of our viewport. Yet here we have some problem. Uh, if I'm setting top and left to be zero, I expect to see my image uh, to start at the top left corner, but here it starts at the beginning of our table. And this is, uh, well, this is hard to explain why it happens and how uh, probably the best way to fix that is just to find the right values. So we can, st we still can center that horizontally if you use 50% um, here and then translate, transform, translate X minus 50%. It's going to be placed in the middle, but you can also set top to be 10% or you can use viewport height depending on your uh, like size of your screen. And if you're sure that you are not going to change this layout, um, so probably you can still use this code. But uh, make sure that you test it on different devices and you know uh, that uh, it looks fine for uh, not only on your screen but on other screens. Uh, let's try how it works now. Yeah, now when I hover the titles, we can see image at the same place. All right, uh, and probably the next part is to show you how to change your images if you ever need to change them. Let's try to change the first image. Uh, well, if you open your HTML view and click on any image, you will see that each image has a hash. So this is like an unique number. And all I need to do is to drag and drop my new image somewhere here, then uh, go back to the code view, click on it and copy the whole thing. So now I need to go uh, to the place where my first image is placed and replace everything with my new hash. Okay, this image uh, I can remove. And now when I hover over this title, you see uh, an updated image. So that's it. Thanks for watching and follow my channel to get more tutorials about Cargo Collective and goodbye.